God's design is one sexual partner for life. Now, in the, in the homosexual community, the average homosexual has hundreds of sexual partners over the course of a lifetime. Hundreds. Some of them have between 500 and 1,000, and there are any number of homosexuals, and they admit this in their own literature, have more than 1,000 sexual partners. Now, they're talking about uh, numerous sexual encounters on the same night. Now, in order to do that, they've got to they've take drugs to enhance the experience and to make it possible to have numerous encounters on the same night. These drugs are called poppers, is, is their street name for them. They're amyl nitrates, alkyl nitrites. It's not nitrates. I keep saying nitrates. It's nitrites. Amyl nitrites, uh, alkyl nitrites. They inhale these things, and they dilate the blood vessels, increase blood flow, and all that kind of thing. They're real tough on the heart. Uh, in fact, you, you'll, you'll find homosexuals frequently dying at early ages of heart attacks. Why? Because they've just overstimulated their heart with these nitrites because of the kind of sexual behavior that they engage in. And we know, Duisburg says, look, we know, we can, we can demonstrate in the lab the way these nitrites, the way these inhalants break down the immune system. And uh, the, in, the research indicates 94, 96% of the people who, um, uh, who engage actively in homosexuality, homosexual behavior, use these nitrites. The, the inhalants are very common. And so he suggests, look, this is the cause of AIDS. It's the rampant promiscuity coupled with this drug use, that's what causes the human immune system to break down. <laughs>